Welcome everybody back to another Mario Kart 8 video or today's video. I'm doing a video I'm, I don't think this is exactly what the comment said But the theme of this video is if I get hit by a blue shell not in first place the video will end so I know Mario Kart 8, it's very easy to get hit by a blue shell not in first, so I wanted to see how long I could go without that happening. And I swear, every video starts on this map. Why are we always playing this map? It's like, oh my gosh. And now it's on mirror mode, so I gotta like, even when I'm just getting accustomed to it, I have to get used to something that's like it, but slightly different so that I'm not, so I'm a little familiar with it, but not familiar enough to be proficient on it when space so I, I think we'll definitely go this race without getting hit by a blue shell so yeah if I get hit by a blue shell in first place the video continues that's okay it's just if I get hit by a blue shell when I'm in any other placement and that could be with any other way either like I drop out either I drop out too late and it hits me whether it hits first place and I get caught in the in the after the uh, aftershock or it just hits me on the way to first place. Any of those ways. Oh my gosh. I actually, I don't know where the, I don't know this section. I can't do this. Can we end this race, please? I don't even think there's been a blue shell yet. I hate this track on the mirror. I hate it. I don't like this track in general that much. I mean, I mean, it's kind of growing on me. Oh my gosh. I just realized you don't have to go up here. You can just go down there. I didn't even know that. Okay. Okay, how am I getting green shell in 10th place? Oh, the shock dodge. Perfect. Some people got target shocks too. All right, that was pretty good. But I still don't think we're going to do very well this race. Let's see though. Oh my gosh, this is the part I always fall off. I don't know what to do. Okay, where? Okay, there we go. And there we go. And yes, it does count if we get hit by a blue shell when we're not in first place after we cross the line i swear we get all these tracks that weren't even part of the original game that i feel like you know when i actually get one of the original 32 tracks in this game it actually feels like i haven't played the track in ages and it feels like nostalgia my next video is just gonna be if i get a track that's in the original mario kart 8 32 tracks the video ends and that video is gonna be four hours and it's gonna be like after I get every single DLC track 47 times, and that'll be it. Oh, and there we go. We just... Oh, my gosh. We couldn't even finish that. We well, we, we kind of... We got our way... We got a clean speed boost into first. I, didn't, I wasn't... I'm trying to think of, like, a word, but I can't. And so here we are in Excite Bite Arena, the le ironically the least exciting track in the game. Even though it's, I know it's not named after exciting, it's named after, you know, the game. But I'm pretty sure the game was named after, was kind of meant to be named after exciting, the word exciting. I don't know, I don't know anything about Excite Bite. I do have that Wii version of Excite Bite, the WiiWare exclusive one. Downloaded that, I don't know how many people have that. It's, if I, 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 I didn't even play it. I just bought it because it was, the Wii Shop was closing though. And to this day, I haven't touched it. But you know, in case I ever do, I'll, I'll be ready. All right, let's. Oh, I heard a bomb and I was like, I did not know where it was. Oh my God. Okay, I'm just going to use this right away because these things last forever. I haven't even seen any blue shells yet though. So I don't even know what's up with that. that oh there's a blue shell but of course it's in front of us and yeah i think we got last so not a good first race yeah i got i gotta say though one thing i really dislike about this track and it also goes for a few other tracks like wario stadium and choco mountain it just feels it just does not remind me of the original at all which is kind of a shame because I really liked Sky Garden, I really liked Choco Mountain, and the remakes are alright, but I just wish they resembled the old tracks a little bit more. But of course that is, I always end up talking about DLC in every Mario Kart 8 video I do. I mean, what else is there to talk about, right? That's all this game has going for it. Like, could you imagine, like, I just want you guys to imagine, like, 
people say Mario Kart 8, some people say that Mario Kart 8 is the best Mario Kart game, which I don't know how you think that, but, you know, I guess you have an opinion, and that's okay. But, could you imagine what people would, how people would look at Mario Kart 8 if the game never got any updates, never got any new content, and was just the original 32 tracks that we had back in 2014. They never got anything else. Like, how do you think the game would go? How do you think it would be looked upon right now? And then look at, like, Mario Kart Wii, a game that did get no updates, no new tracks, and yet that game is still looked so highly favored upon. Like, could you imagine if Mario Kart Wii got, like, 16 additional DLC tracks, 48 additional retro tracks added to it? Like, it would be insane. Insane. On top of everything it already had. I'm just saying. That, that's kind of like... Something to think about. Mario Kart 8 needed all this extra health. Okay, we avoided a blue shell. Yeah, but Mario Kart Wii... What a legacy game. Alright, this is a very close pack here at the end. Wow, that was so close. Like, seriously, one second would have made the difference between, like, 5th and 10th there. You know, I was kind of thinking, like, about, I don't know, this is just kind of a random thought, but I was thinking about, like, how Nintendo picks retro tracks to bring back in Mario Kart games in general, and I thought about that, like, N64 Wario Stadium, because it's, like, one of the oldest tracks in Mario Kart that's never been remade, and, I, well, actually, it's the oldest if you count the tracks that were remade in Super Circuit, but it, I always think about that SpongeBob meme where it's, like, it's, like, DS Wario Stadium running out of the, uh, the boathouse in uh, Mrs. Puff's boating school saying, hey, I just got remade, and then it's Spongebob's N64 Wario Stadium, and he's like, hey, I'm gonna get remade next. And then the guy's like, oh, I doubt it. That, that's N64 Wario Stadium in a nutshell. I mean, I, I I'm not crazy about that track. It's a cool track, but it's not like a track I'm dying to be remade. I just think it's funny how it's been, it's gone so long. And you know, there's, there's tracks from every Mario Kart game that haven't been remade. I think that's just kind of you know, Nintendo can only pick a couple from each game, and, uh, you know. But what, the one thing about funny about N64 Wario Stadium is it's the only Mario Kart game that only has one track that's never been remade from it. Every other Mario Kart game has more than one. But, will Nintendo change that with the Booster Course Pack? I don't know. I mean, they already have a Wario Stadium, and they already have a song that, that matches the same soundtrack as Wario Stadium, so... Plus, it's kind of a, it seems like an annoying track to remake. Like, it just seems, it's kind of long. There's not much to it. It would need a big revamp, which, you know, doesn't seem to be a problem. But. I'm just saying, there's a lot of factors that would go to preventing Nintendo from making it, I think. Luckily, we avoided that blue shell. I saw, I saw that blue shell. I wasn't really trying hard to avoid it though, but luckily we did, or else I wouldn't be able I wouldn't have been able to finish. Maybe I should use I could what if I just use the super horn to um oh no. What if I use the super horn to blow up the blue shell while it was passing me? And so it just it completely evaded first. Did we get them? Okay, we didn't get them, but we still won. So yeah, that's good. We won. You know, I've noticed in this room, when I first started playing- Oh, it's 200. Okay. When I first started playing this game, or when I started playing Mario Kart 8 Online again, I went against people around the 6,000 to 10,000 VR range. And now that I'm getting a little higher, I'm noticing a lot more 13, 14, 15, 16 VR range players. So I need to know, is the- is 99999- wait, five nines. Is that- is that the limit? Is that the highest? Or does it keep going? I, I don't know. And has anyone ever done a road to 99999 VR? Okay, that red shell's not going for me. I was like, come on, hurry up. Yeah. This track, I actually used to play a decent amount of 200cc. What's funny, oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to drop back in time. Oh wait, but it's 200, so I can outrun it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna toss that back. No, oh no, no, no. Mm, okay, I should have slowed down. I definitely should not have gone off that path before getting hit by the blue shell, but we got hit in first place, which means the video continues. Um, because the whole point is getting hit not in first, so there we go. 
surprised we got hit by blue shell in first before one in the different placement because I always feel like I get hit by so many and why do I go a star in third all right it's all right you know what's funny is when third place and everyone behind them is getting stars you know the shocks just just don't affect anybody basically at that point and I don't know how we got first that race but holy that was an exciting race I gotta say that was kind of fun actually I love how SNES Rainbow Road was an option and we still get this track for the second time in the session I mean at least it's not Ninja Hideaway again that track likes to appear quite a bit but uh, yeah, here we go I might cut this race out just because it's really boring but you know this because I like this this vit, this track is just gonna decrease my watch time. The, all thing it's all thanks to this track. All right, let's. All right, I don't know if taking the ramps is faster or not, but eleventh. Okay, that was bad. All right, here we go. Race number six. All right, I'm gonna pretend this is race number six. All right, don't act like you were keeping track either. This is race number six now. Yeah, I've been doing all right. Some of these races have been like, I don't know, because I've been doing really good in some of them and really bad in some of them. And honestly, surprised. I've been getting some, like, my videos, when I've been doing Mario Kart 8 videos recently, have either been really long or really short. There is, and most of them have been really long. I don't know. Some of these challenges feel like they should not be as hard. Like, I always think, oh, you know, it'll happen in a few races, but then just, the condition never happens. And then it's like, oh. I, I can literally just, here's how I make myself immune to shells in Mario Kart. All I have to do is make a video called, if I get hit by a green shell in Mario Kart 8, the video ends. And then I will go either, then either I'll get unlucky and it'll end in a minute. Or I'll last like four hours without getting hit by a green shell. Okay, that was unnecessary. I'm just going to hold one big drift here. I don't know if that was worth it. Probably not. What the second my my shock is over and how come oh my gosh How come mushrooms fall on the ground, but not stars after a shock? I don't like it. It's kind of a sad that stars don't fall on the ground anymore in this game All right, we're in the right in the middle of the pack here, and I'm not getting any protection items. So It's not looking like this is gonna end well for me Let's see. Okay, that person has a star in front of me. Of course, because why wouldn't they? All right, I'm just going to hold on to this and hope just take accept the middle spot. Actually, no, I'm going to... Okay, there we go. Sixth place. All right, moving on. Race number seven. Here we are. Animal Crossing. I, like, why is the track just called Animal Crossing also? Why isn't it called, like... Like... Okay, that tree just spawned there out of nowhere. But, like, why isn't it called, like... Animal Crossing City, or whatever the city is called in Animal Crossing. Also, what Animal Crossing game is this based off? Like, I need to know. Like, I feel... I don't know anything about Animal Crossing, but I feel like Animal Crossing is a little bit of a generic name. All, that's all I'm saying. All right, I'm not going to go for the double here. I'm going to save my mushrooms, be smart, conserve my items. All right, and it's going to backfire because of someone else's bad driving. Yeah, I definitely would not have used the star. Okay, how many stars does this person have? Yeah, also this music is way too calm to be Mario Kart. Like, this does not fit Mario Kart at all. Like, for other games, they, like, remixed their soundtracks to, like, make it... Oh, my gosh. To make it feel like Mario Kart. But this game did not do that. Or not this game, this track. Oh, finally a star so I can have a little bit of protection here as long as I don't lose it. I'm not sure when I should use it. All right, I'll use it here. Probably won't matter. All right, at least we didn't get shocked immediately after so I feel so I won't feel as bad now. Well I don't feel as bad for using the star when I did. I'm really afraid this guy is just gonna send it back. I'm gonna ditch both of these items. Right, the green shell was not 
Okay, maybe it was a little helpful, but also would have been nice to not get hit right at the end. But, you know, second place is not bad. That was a really close pack, though. Here we are, sweet, sweet canyon. I have not played this track in so many years. I, It's so weird seeing this track again. It's also weird that I've been, I've put like probably a dozen hours into this game since, um, since getting back into it. And this track has, this is the first time it's appearing. Absolutely incredible to me. Oh, wait, I never, why are we underwater there? That, Okay, it's. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing this. It sounds like I'm playing this for the first time. I am not, obviously. Yeah, questioning how the tracks are. People have probably just accepted them at this point. It's all right. Oh no, where's that blue shell? Okay, I think it took the other path. I think we're okay. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. That bomb was uh, was not good. Third place, very close pack once again. This this game's a lot of close packs, doesn't it? They do not like front runners. Okay, how did that person get a star and I got a single mushroom? Wait, he got a star too. This guy in the exact same vehicle combo as me. I, I don't like it when other people share my combo. Only when it actually only when it's meta. If it's if I'm like playing Luigi mock bike, that's fine. Okay, avoided another blue shell. This time it took the pink path. Last lap it didn't. It, I think it took the blue path. What? No! No! Oh my gosh. That was the worst timing possible. That was the worst timing. That was so brutal. Okay, apparently the number one favorited track in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Here we go because apparently this is all people pick. <laughs> this is this track likes... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I've never been down this path before. All right, maybe I have. I don't know. This whole thing feels new to me. Wait, if I throw the red shell, we'll just fly. Oh, my... Yo, that is cool. Okay, okay. That time the shy guy hit me, but other times it hasn't. Oh, my gosh. I didn't know... I wa Now I want to throw more red shells off of the glider ramp. That's so cool how it just flies. That is, like... That is so cool. All right. I need triple reds now. And this time it's not mirror, so it shouldn't be as hard to navigate. Luckily for me. Oh, I wanted to glide. All right, yeah, I do not. I do not like the. I don't like the piranha plant item just because it it doesn't really do anything, and it takes forever to go away. Like I need to be able to spam out of an item if I want to. All right, we did not get triple reds though, so I can't throw. Okay, that is not fair for Shy Guys to suddenly have hitboxes and then to appear out of nowhere and then hit me immediately. Like, when when Shy Guys appear, if they're going to hit me, they should have a few seconds, like a second or two, where they just don't have a hitbox. You know, just so people can, like, see them. Ooh, okay. A, a star chaining into a star and a bullet in seventh place. That is really good. I'm going to go see if I can just... Let's do that. Oh my gosh, is the blue shell? It went right by me. Holy, if I didn't use that bullet, it might have hit me. Oh no, bullet, I didn't want to go down here. Alright, that's alright. I'm a so... Oh, I was literally just saying I'm so afraid a shock's gonna come. And I, my finger was on the L trigger, ready to use it. And yeah, did not work out too well for me. I could be in a... I probably could have won, honestly. I gotta stop saving my items so much. Uh, awesome. A piranha plant that I won't be able to use before the end of the race. Or, I mean, the piranha plant means I won't be able to use the mushrooms. Alright, so I don't know why I'm bringing this up now. Because this map has no glider ramps. But... So, I actually use the... I don't know what the different... I know there's different stats in the gliders. Do I care? No. Do... Have, okay, I don't know what else I was gonna say, but okay. How? What the heck? I, oh my gosh, that momentum of getting bumped was was crazy. Okay, but I remember I have been using the Wario style glider for as long as I can remember. I have actually switched up my combo a couple times. I used to play. Uh, I did play. Actually, I've played Mario, Waluigi, and Mario Kart 8 since day one. I 
never play any other characters. Um, but I've always used the Wario Glider, despite my vehicle changes. And... Okay, don't fall off again. And the reason I used it is because I thought it was a Waluigi Glider, and then I realized, eventually, it was not a Wario Glider. And then it made me, I mean, a Waluigi Glider, and it made me sad. Oh my gosh, okay. Don't get hit. Stay on this side. We're going to keep this video going for a little while, all right? I'm not just going to give up the challenge. Okay, that was awkward. Okay, I think we're okay now. I'm pretty good at SNES Rainbow Road, so... Alright, hopefully giving away that did not screw me over. Alright, we should get second. Yep. Alright, there we go, second place. You gotta love how Ninja Hideaway and this were both options again in this game. Like, uh, unbelievable how this track appears so many times along with Ninja Hideaway. I don't know what Nintendo has with those two tracks. I don't know what makes them so special, but they, they sure do love them. And now we're just gonna front run. Yep, you ran into it. Can't do that, I have a red shell. If someone passes me, guess what? You're gonna get a red shell. That's it, I, I win. I won the game. You can't take any shortcuts because there are no shortcuts. Ooh, you can hop over that, good to know. It looks like, okay. Wait, does that, okay, wait. Does that count? Wait, I wasn't in first, but the blue shell didn't actually do damage, but I guess it still technically hit me. Wait, wait, I don't know. I don't know if that counts. That was such a weird, oh my gosh. Such a weird series of events. Okay. What the, no, come on. How many green shells is he gonna back spam? What the heck? All right, so I was thinking of something and you know, the voting screen in Mario Kart 8 is very boring. You pick a track, there's always that one guy that waits the entire time to pick a track, even though you have three options, and even out of the three, it's not gonna pick you because your vote doesn't matter. There's 12 people in the room. Stop taking, stop going on. Like it's a life change, like it's the red wire or the blue wire. It's a Mario Kart 8 track and you're not even gonna get picked. So hurry up. But anyway, what I was saying was, um, Oh, wait, what was the point? Oh, yeah. So, I wanted to give something to look forward to. Now, something, a rare scenario that could happen in the voting screen. A very rare scenario. But it could theoretically happen if I play, if I theoretically played this game for hundreds of hours. And that is, if, if I go to the voting screen one day and, oh, why do I always choke the easiest wins? Oh yeah, what I was going to say is if all three of the choices, all three of them are Wii tracks, I will do another Mario Kart Wii video. I don't know what kind of Mario Kart Wii video I do, I'll do. Actually, I have some ideas, but I'm not... Oh my gosh, why did the blooper actually screw me up? I can't, I'm so stupid. But yeah, I want to do some, I'll do a Mario Kart Wii video. Not sure what I, if I get, if all three are Mario Kart Wii tracks, I'll do something. I'll do something cool too. It's not going to be something lame. You know, I got to say, when it comes to Mirror and 64 tracks, I wish the cars would come at you like they do in uh, the mirrored version of N64 Toad's Turnpike, because that was pretty cool. It's not like it would matter just because, you know. Yeah, the cars go super slow. It's not like it would be a challenge like it was in the N64, you know. Because Mario Kart players today are just so soft. They couldn't handle the old N64 Toad's Turnpike with the N64 controls. Oh, no. That is a blue shell. Okay. We're good. That was close. There's a pink gold peach. Nobody picks pink gold peach because they like her, though. People only pick her because it's funny. And people hate her. Are we, I feel like we're just in the exact same position we were last lap. Alright, this is interesting. Alright, guess I should have thrown my shell. Uh, why does that person have a start? No, get rid of that. Get that, get that out of my face. 
Okay, why do all the people behind me suddenly have stars and bullets? First place is right here. Y'all should not be getting this many powerful items. What is going on? Got a mushroom and a bomb. Okay, I actually didn't realize I was in fourth. I'm actually still pretty good. I don't know if I should go for a double here. Yep, I'm going to go for it. Ooh, I don't know how that hit. Okay, it didn't hit them. I was like wondering. Okay, but that one did. Man, green shells are kind of insane in this game, aren't they? Oh, no. That was bad, and everyone's going to pass me. All right, there we go, seven. Actually, being tiny has a little bit of an advantage because you can drop items without people really seeing. Because people can't really see what items you have when you're tiny, you know? All right, let's throw that. Hopefully, we get a mushroom. All right, no mushroom. Just avoid every, all the chaos and another beautiful first place. So we got French Delfino Square here. That's the new nickname because I don't remember the name of this track. And I don't care to know and I don't really care. Um, but, you know, I just had a dark thought while in, in between races. In between the last race and this race. I feel like I had like a little vision. But there's two alternative universes. One where Delfino Square gets added to the booster pack. And one where DK Mountain gets added to the booster pack. And so we got the good ending and the bad ending. And I'm really hoping that... Oh my gosh. I hope they don't ruin Delfino Square though. Because that would kind of suck. Alright, but okay, why is... But I can't really call this a Delfino Square though because... I'm not really sure if bad things can happen on it or not, so we're gonna have to, you know, we're gonna have to wait on that because I'm not, I'm not sure. We haven't played it enough to see. I mean, nothing too bad's happening yet, but um, I think bad things have happened. I don't know. I'm, I don't think anything can really match the, you know, bad things are gonna happen on any Mario Kart track. Not every track has the powers of Delfino Square. Ooh, shock dodge. That was a lot of shock dodges. That was not a smart shock, whoever used that shock. And I still somehow get hit by a red shell. Because I think one of those bullet holders had triple reds. All right, but fourth place, not too bad. You know, I'm actually kind of glad they didn't add new characters in the booster course pack because, you know, imagine we got like Wiggler and Birdo, like, uh, that's not what we need. Oh, you know, some people are actually, some people might wonder, like, um, who do I like more, Wiggler or Birdo? The age-old question. I haven't talked much about Wiggler, and I hate Wiggler. I think it's a very general opinion that Wiggler is a pretty terrible Mario Kart character and that we should be glad that they're not back. But who do I hate? But I also have that opinion of Birdo, so who would I hate more? And the truth is, I would actually prefer to have Birdo over Wiggler. Because I think Wiggler is just an overall trash character. I think Birdo's design is kind of weird, but I, th I think thanks to Mario Party Superstars, I've kind of gotten a, a love-hate relationship with Birdo now, so. That's, so things have things have changed, and I, we're, we're pretty bad. Like, I, I'd, I'd rather have Birdo over a lot. The Mario Kart roster has such a low bar that I think just Birdo is actually in the, somewhere in the middle of the pack for me. Oh, God. I was close. You know, I, I have somewhat of a heart. Okay, that was so unnecessary. Okay, that. why am I just getting green shells? I probably wasted more time than I needed to there. All right, yeah, I definitely should not have stopped at the boxes. This isn't countdown. Wait, I, is there black Yoshi in this game? I know, because I know they cut Black Yoshi from Smash. I need to know for a slightly fuzzier green version of Yoshi, which <laughs> who plays it? nobody plays that. People, why, why cut the black one? People actually played that in Smash Wii U. Okay, I just, okay. This is something I actually have beef about. If I grab two single, if I grab two items from the item set, why doesn't it fill both of my item slots? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Alright, if they got a shock, they're going to spam it, so I'm just going to waste my star. Alright, sixth place. Okay, finally, back to some home territory here. This is good, this is good. 
All right, I really want to. I, I just want to front run this race. That's all I want to do. So, oh gee, I wonder what track it will pick. All right, two V tracks in a row. I must be dreaming. This is the best. I'm just playing Mario Kart Wii HD at this point. Honestly, that I would love Mario Kart Wii HD. That that would save my career. But yeah, that would. For now, we got this, and you know. It, you know, we get some Mario Kart Wii tracks, but then we have to play, like, Ninja Hideaway and Excite Fight Arena about 30 times in between. Oh, I still miss that little ramp. That little ramp. Why did they get rid of the little ramp? Even Mario Kart 7 kept it. Also, yeah, the wall acts as, like, a... You can't go up the wall anymore. I've noticed that. But I would kind of expect that with the physics of this game. Ooh, where's that blue shell? Is it gonna go this way or the yeah. other way? Oh my gosh, that was so close. Yeah, this section makes no sense though. This se that, that section, absolutely no sense. Let's see if we can just. Okay, I think I almost got him. No, I needed that. I actually needed that. No. Oh, this race is over now. Okay, no, I wasn't in the hitbox. You can't do that. That's not fair. Oh, that was so hard. All right, baby park. I don't, I'm don't. i really surprised this video has been going on this long. I say that a lot with these really long videos because when I come up with video ideas or when I get video ideas, I try to get ideas that will be a reasonable amount of time. Like, I could go a race without it, but it's fairly common for it to happen. But then it just never happens, the condition. And then it's like, well, now what? It's all right, is this person? Okay, they were a lap behind. Oh my gosh, yo, this is getting, I can't, I can't go more than three feet without getting hit here. Oh look, we got the blue shell, which doesn't matter because I'm gonna throw this and nobody's gonna get hit by it before they cross the line. All right, that was pretty stupid. All right, I already know the video is not going to end this race because it's it's all ruins. You know, the, the video would never end on this track. So let's just skip to the next race or skip to the end of this race. Let's see if we can. We might be able to. Oh, wait. No, he's playing as Yoshi. What? Okay. Ooh, there is a blue shell. If we win, then. Yeah, it's way too far back. There we go. First place. All right, race number four. Here we go. Nice chill race to harbor. I love being in first just because I don't have to look at anyone. Don't have to see any green gels waving in my face. It's, it's just much nicer, much more pleasant. All right, that path is probably slower, and I should probably stop taking that path. All right, you know what? I actually wanted to go this way. I didn't want to go up there. This way, I feel like, is more my speed. All right. I think that person has a bot. No, it's a star. Okay. I don't even know why I thought that was a bot. Oh. Oh, come on. That did not hit me. I need, like, a gold in here. All right. That is not going to help at all. All right. I don't know what kind of sick, twisted joke this is. Why we're getting this track for the fourth time in a single session. And I know this session's been going on quite a long time now. However... It's still only been like um, an hour, less than an hour and a half. I know that. So, and we there's a lot of tracks we've gotten, and I, I, I'm gonna say this now: Cheap Cheap Beach and Bowser's Castle. I haven't played in years either of those tracks. There's only a few tracks left I haven't played in a few years. Water Park is also up there, but who who likes Water Park? Okay, no item, of course. I figured actually. And what are we going to get? Oh, we passed a couple people there at the end. Fifth place. Right, what do we got? Golden, please. A golden would be nice. Not a piranha plant from someone who can't drive. All right. Got hit by the same piranha plant twice. Even better. There we go. And here we are. Race number three. We got Bowser's Castle. I'm... I haven't played Bowser. I don't even remember. Like, I genuinely do not remember what this track is like. Because I keep thinking of, like... Of something, but then I'm like, no, that's the Mario Kart 7 Bowser's Castle. But all right, yeah, this is kind of coming back to me. It didn't. This nobody even picked this track. It was just random. Man, I gotta say though, this song, it's 
kind of a banger, not gonna lie. Like Mario Kart, Wii's, Bowser's Castle. All right, one point for Mario Kart 8 there. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about the lasers. Kind of wish there was something in this little hallway though. There's not really anything here. But I, I, I say that the use of anti-gravity was spot on. However, I don't like how we're playing mirror because now whenever we play it regularly, I'm just gonna assume it's the mirror version and then I'm gonna go the wrong way. Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna hold on to the item. Every time I hold on to the item, I get shocked and then I lose it and then I'm sad and then I regret life. So this time we're not gonna, okay. Whew. I'm, su I'm surprised how easy it's been to avoid the blue shells. Wait, why do I still have a boomerang? How, how do I still have one? Get out of here. Right, I'm gonna use one here because I don't like being in the air. I feel vulnerable in the end, and obviously one for the- Oh no, he's got a red shell. Yep. Wasn't even gonna th think about that. Oh god. <gasps> we didn't get hit. We didn't get hit. Alright, another example of a track that is... Oh, what's the word? It feels nothing like the original. That Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I mean, some parts of it play better, but still, it's still not like the original. Okay, okay, yeah, I was like trying to avoid the banana, and then I tried to do a little, little hop. Did not work out for me, and now here we are. Man, the two banana icon should not be a thing. I swear, since this video, the blue shell's just been so nice to me. It's not been going for me at all. It's crazy. Looks like it's gonna, maybe I should have made it into a challenge of trying to hit the blue shell not in first rather than trying to avoid it. But we're gonna keep trying to avoid it. That boomerang does not hit me. Not trying to deal with that today. Oh, those green shells are very vibrant. Thank you for that. And of course we get a piranha plant. I hate this thing. <laughs> it's so annoying. Well, you thought you could, oh yeah, thought you could pass me. 